fancy they are, will have like um, also a resource suite okay. that you can do the applications on there. Uh -huh. And then you don't have to worry about okay, it. You don't have to like, it's like presets. It's almost like presets. Okay. So then um, it goes by the skin color. Right. So um, there will be like a tab, like um, an application tab like you have on the computer. Mm -hmm. It's a drop down. So like um, it says applications, you hold, hold down on it. And then um, it gets so many that tells you you can do hero mode, you can do you know, skin rejuvenation, or whatever. But you have access to the hero mode, that's right. what you want. Right. Now, with the hero mode, you have to always make sure that this part is called the, um, the hand piece. Mm -hmm. um, and the hand piece has a slider. So it's a slider because on here, um, it has different measurements of the lenses. Mm -hmm. Okay? You slide it in, slide it out. Mm -hmm. That's how you kind of see lens is going to um, help to determine the beam and the beam width of the light okay. that deflects out of here, right? So, so for air removal, you want to do like maybe maybe 18 for the large body parts and maybe like 12 and 15 for smaller body parts. Okay. And then you'll see when it changes because there's something on the machine that it shows you. So on the bottom of the machine, you're going to see like, um, like a little screen that shows you, shows you when you change this, the size. But Whatever this says, this also have to say. So you always have to make sure you match it up because, in addition to this, okay, so this says 18. In addition to this, they have something that we call a distance gauge. So which I'll show you the distance gauge. Okay. So this is very important because, it, unfortunately, here not being close, then it causes burning. So distance gauges are 12. So it's still 15 and 18. You understand? Mm -hmm. So then this allows you again to same thing the amount of light that covers the ear. So if you were to measure it, it says 18 millimeters across, which you see right here. Gotcha. Okay, so if you're ever uncertain, you can always look here to see them. And okay. just in general, this would be like for leg, this would be Bikini, for like the underarm. And then this would be like for the no, upper you can lip even, or something. You could also use this one for the body itself. People don't usually change this out. Oh, but let's say you want it to then, yes, maybe for the underarm, 15. So what's the difference is the depth of penetration. Uh, so when the hairs are deeper inside the follicle, you need more of a depth. Because remember, you don't want the laser to be most attracted to the skin pigment. Mm -hmm. It's most attracted to the hair. Right. So when you have deeper depths with deeper hairs, that's better. You get more of an effective treatment. Okay. So then that's important. But again, um, so then this works with a slider. Okay, so we're... You place one of these depending on um, how you adjusted the slider, and so you pull. So on the other one also too, you'll see that it has it will have something you know. So this part you pull it out. You have to press. So if I'm not mistaken, that one has like a, a little button on the side. Mm -hmm. You see like a little gray button, and you push it in while you're pulling this. Actually, so if I push this in while I pull this, this is how I adjust it. Okay. So one for 18, which I see right here. So, so for 15, which I see right well, that one says 12, so let's put it right here. So really quickly, if the person had maybe like, um, not quite Velis hairs, but maybe something similar to Velis hairs, so like it would make face. more sense to be like 12. Child, exactly. But then if they have more like pores, pubic hairs or something, that's like 18. So then that's why too, let's say we're doing the face, mm -hmm. then 12 is proper because the hairs are very soft, right? Yeah. Like, uh, but let's say we're doing a thick beard on the face, then maybe a 15. Mm -hmm. Maybe good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or then if you still choose to use an 18, you can. But yeah, for, for the very. After maybe realizing the 15 is not as effective. Gotcha. Because what it does also, too, on that particular machine, the Pro, the Gentle Yeah Pro, mm -hmm. is that it um it automatically changes the intensity once you change the slider mm -hmm. and you tell the machine your skin type and all of that. Mm -hmm. So which is good because then you don't have to calculate it. Mm -hmm. With some manufacturers what they'll do is I mean with the manufacturer, um, you have the manual. So you can you know kind of go through the manual and say, okay I'm working with this Fitzpatrick because remember it goes by the color. Yeah. And then you can determine what the intensity is. Okay. Yeah. Now so this has to do with the slider. So you physically can take it out and look at it and you see that it has a lens. So here's a lens right here. Gotcha. Okay. And again, it has to communicate with the distance gauge. So this is the lens, this is the slider, and this is called the distance gauge. Okay. Now, um, on the machine, 
you have, so on this particular one, okay, it tells you where the cooling agent and um, how much of the temperature will be applied. So I usually don't, don't touch it, whatever comes here, it comes, but, but you can also use the manual to adjust it, okay? So on this one, you can think of this as a manual mm -hmm. and think of the, the, um, the gentle YAG Pro as an automatic, okay? So this one, because it's manual, you have to physically go in and tell the machine what you want it to do, mm -hmm. okay? So this is where you have, okay, the, the cooling system, the cryo spray. So which is, you screw it off, you take it off, and it finishes, right? To replace it, you put it back, right? And then, this is what indicates how much of that spray is coming out, mm -hmm. okay? Which I usually don't adjust it, I make the machine automatically tell me what to do. But if you needed to adjust it, what, what are you adjusting? So, um, Sometimes the idea is if it's too much cooling, are you offsetting the, the intensity? But that's the reason why we sell laser as pain free and pain less is because of the cooling offsets the intensity. So that's better, right? Yeah. And especially if you're, if, you're, if you're not putting numbing creams, which I don't use a numbing cream, there's no need for, right? But then that would be a um, fun thing. So when you get to the bikini, some people are sensitive, and so if you want to put one, I don't. It's not, it's not necessary because right. it's so quick. Yeah, yeah, right. So this one has to do with again the distance. Okay, so what you remember this one is measured in millimeters, right? So it's actually the um, the diameter of the beam. Okay. So which we call it the um, spot size. So if you remember in your books, I do remember that the spot size. It's weird because I feel like I wrote it down with these, but I feel like the more I hear it, yeah. it helps. Your phone is a little neat. <laughs> so spot size. So which if it was another machine, then the spot size would just basically be the handpiece itself and you wouldn't have to change all of that. Gotcha. Alright, so remember the spot size has to do with the depth of penetration. Now So this has to do with the speed, like how fast you do the application, okay? So the speed in terms of hertz. So this one is the one that's measured in hertz, right? And it's just the one, this is one. Yeah, so okay. usually it goes up to like two, so you can change it up to two. But this is how quickly. So on that particular machine, there's going to be three circles. There is going to be one towards your left, okay? And then you have one towards your right. The one towards your right, that's going to be this one, the speed, okay? So which you'll see some arrows going around it. You can go this way or that way. Um, the machine is automatically going to tell you what um, which it means the settings, okay. right? But then, um, and then that will be labeled in green. And so if you try to go left or right, then it goes outside of that perimeter, it's no longer in green. It's going to be like gray. So then this is how you know, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, a little one, like towards the center, you'll see, and a one right far in the corner has to do with the spot size, okay. which has to communicate with the delivery, the slider, and the distance gauge, because this is the distance gauge, okay? Then on top, you're going to see a bigger one, a bigger circle, that's going to have the fluence. How do you know? Because look, if you take a look at here, on this one, it says joules per centimeter squared. That's always your fluence, okay? So which you can adjust and so now i'm manually adjusting it because remember on mine it doesn't automatically do it but on yours if you hit the application button where it says hair removal it's mm -hmm. going to ask you what color hair are you working with mm -hmm. you select it what um what's the texture of the hair you're working with you select it what's the fits patch you're working with you select it and it also says is this person tanned or not tanned so it has three things it says tan, no tan, and established. Established just means that you check and even the person did have a tan, they weren't in the sun yesterday and there, there should be no sensitivity. I personally don't like the established because, you know, let's be real. Are you supposed to tan or no tan? Right. Right? So, um, say no tan, but if you ever were to say that the person was tan, what happens is the machine automatically comes up with a, a sign, okay, in red that says stop. <laughs> so not proceed. Person has a time, right? So, for safety, mm -hmm. this doesn't happen, right? Because again, this is more of a um, 
and a lot of them are automatic, correct? Okay. So then, yes, then I would have to change the intensity here. I know the intensity is based on the skin type, so which I'll share that with you too. Okay. But on the machine, that's the beauty about it is that if you tell it the skin type, it will give you the intensity. Right. And then now, in that big circle, it shows you joules per centimeter square and it shows you the intensity. Now you can go left or right and so, change it. Really quickly. Yes. Fluence means the intensity how, of how the hot it will be. Okay. And so when you increase that, yes. you're it's going to be more hotter. Got it. So um, I'm just remembering because of the last laser interview, I kind of bombed it. But um, it was for a 1098, 1098 NDI, whatever. 1098 Texas. Okay, yes, you're right. So, um, but remember now, don't don't use that as your base because every manufacturer delivers their intensity differently. Uh, Where yeah. I've seen on the diets, remember the one that we did with the continent education? Mm -hmm. She has a diode, right? Yeah. But on that diode, remember it was it was kilojoules or something like that. So remember the numbers were way it was like two hundred and all that or whatever. Right. It's because they calculate a little differently. Gotcha. But you're going to be interviewed for this. Yeah, that's what you're going for. Yeah, I'm going for this. So which is good because then in this or Candela in general. I don't know what machine okay. is going to be in. So no, that's really so Okay, so okay, so the only thing. Right, this is what you're gonna look for. So go back to your book and look for joules. Mm -hmm. What is joules intensity? How hot you're gonna feel it? Okay. okay. Millisecond is how long it's going to stay on there. Okay, mm -hmm. so very quickly or very long. Gotcha. Okay, so and so it, would you ever adjust the Yes, you also can. Very good question. So let's say you're working on a dark skin complexion person, okay? And let's say your intensity is is usually low anyways, right? So on my dark skin complexion person, I can go all the way up to 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know this because on the other machines that I've used is is 10. Okay. And let's say 10 is the lowest, in it's a low intensity, nothing is going to happen, so I could spend a longer time, okay? Gotcha. Well, let's say I went up to 24. Oh my gosh, this is going to be intense, so I can't stay too long, so then I can go here and decrease the intensity gotcha. all the way to 3. So this is almost like, you know how we were talking about flash thermals? It mm. would be like a flash, very high intensity, very low timing. Wow. Okay, so very good. So then that way, by the time I hit you, it's so quick, you don't feel anything. Right. And that's why, yes, you can you can actually change it. Okay. But this is why it's always good if you have a manual to work with the manual. Right. Because then it's safer. And this is why it's also good that that particular machine, what they have is that they actually have when you select based on the texture of the hair, the color of the hair, and the skin type, it automatically gives you the energy. Right. I don't change it from that. Unless. So this is my first time with my client. They come back the next time and they say, I don't see any change. For the most part, I've been practicing with it and there's been no complications. I don't see that your company has one of this. They probably have the other one, which is the Pro. Yeah. So if they have the Pro, it's perfect. Okay. So you're going to go there and you're going to look at the machine. And the way how you know is that you turn it on, everything or whatever, it's going to tell you, it's, it tells you everything. You read what it says. <laughs> It's a beauty about that particular one. Yeah. This don't tell you too much because again, it's more analog, right? So then um, on the top part of the screen and on the right. So on the right, you see all of this with the um, like the coding, okay? Mm -hmm. On the top part, there's going to be an arrow. You know, like on your computer, you see those little drop down menus. Mm -hmm. It's a drop down menu. So the way how you activate this, sometimes you have to hold it down first and then tap once, mm -hmm. okay? Then it shows you a list of everything that the machine can do. Then you're going to select hair removal. Okay, so which I'll just write it down for you too. Right? You select hair removal. Then it, it, it pulls open almost like a questionnaire. One is going to say what's the color of the hair you're working on. And let's say you don't know, so you go and you check the area or you ask the client, you say the color of your hair is dark, medium, or fine. And you guys will really say, right? Exactly. And then, it, they, then you say, um, what's the texture? You say, because you know, sometimes with the hair shape, you don't really know for sure. Right. You would say your hair is coarse. Usually, when it's the first time of the time, I'd say that your hair is coarse. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because then when you're treating progressively, you know, it's dark and lighter. Right. So then you do that. And then it also asks you the skin type. It's Patrick, right? So it's yeah. Patrick, you know. And then it will ask you the person's standard that time. And yeah. then the, the, the machine automatically sets the intensity. So the very big one, you can't miss that is the energy right. and it's measured in joules that's why you can't miss it and that's the intensity and then you'll have like um, the little ones in the, in the side that it tells you 
um, this one, this one, the minute set, and you're going to have one circle. On this part side, there's going to be like right on where you can see like three of them. Some machines have one to four with TV circles. Then it can be the spot size, right? And then um, then you'll have one that tells you the, the, the speed, how quickly you can do the treatment. Now, when do you want to do it quickly? So if you're working on a body part, I mean, come on, it's going to take you for you to pulse through the treatment. Okay, when are you going to be done? All right. So you'll speed it up. Okay. And then if you're not, you can always go to pulse, so where you'll go to your one point. Wait, I'm sorry. Yes, pulse. Surgery. So pulse is where if I place. Oh, so how fast it goes? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And then my machine on here, um, every time I pull this thing out, it asks me to calibrate. On that one, it also asks me to calibrate, which you see like you'll see something on there that says calibrate, and you calibrate. But on that machine, it only tells you to calibrate if you change the slider. Gotcha. So if you make a mistake, you change the slider, and then it goes. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to allow you to use the machine to do skin treatment. And mm -hmm. if they do, then this part altogether, the articulated arm, you have to pull it up. And then you have another one that has different um, sliders, okay. different measurements. So, because it has the 6 and the 8 and the 10. Oh, so you can change this part of it. This all together. Or this part. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So, when you change this all together, then it has three more. Because it has one that has 1.5, it has one that has 3, and then you have the 6, and the 8, and the 10. I know! And it, just, <laughs> um, it just changes that part, so for a different body part. For a different type of treatment. Oh, okay. So now remember the machines can also can do use other things. Exactly. Gotcha. So for here removal, you only need these three. So I just put Okay, so let's, so, let, yes. so let's say they decide that they want you to do anything else, so let me know and I'll, I'll help you out. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, then I think I have some manuals that I can share with you. So which this one, I think I have a manual for the intensities too. Mm -hmm. I'll send that in case they don't have one. Okay. okay. But yeah, so then you usually don't have to, but if you happen to, to have to do it, <laughs> it's better you you actually have someone do the maintenance, but in the back side is where you have the water system. So always remember is you try to turn this off, turn the key, turn it in the back side, put the key away because remember when we talk about laser safety officers, if you already have a laser safety officer, you know, so I'll, I'll show you how to get one. Okay. It would be good to have it just because like let's say you're the only one there who's actually operating the machine and the person who owns it does not have one. Mm -hmm. In terms of its inspection, the state may ask, who's your laser safety officer? So which we've been asking for, it has been two years at least. Been asking for it, so I want to make sure that you take care of that. Okay.